Okay, so here's one of those problems that looks really difficult maybe at first because you have all these numbers and variables and exponents. But really, all we're doing here is we're applying the laws of exponents to break this down or simplify it. Now, um, sometimes the word simplify is misleading. It's not so much that our answer is going to be simple when we're done with it, but we'll have applied all of our laws of exponents and we'll have combined all like terms in every way that we can until we can't go any further. That's what it means to simplify, right? That you apply all the laws of exponents. That you multiply and add everything you can. So let's do that. Um, here we have, right, 27 times k to the fifth, right, times m to the eighth. I'm going to leave a little bit of space in between them. And that's over the product of 4 times k to the third, right, times 9m to the second. Now, I didn't write a 9 here. In fact, I'm going to write it over here. 9 times 4. And what I'm doing here is I'm trying to help you see that we can rearrange the order of these terms in the numerator or denominator because we're multiplying in the, commu in the numerator and we're multiplying in the denominator. So they're commutable. We can move them around. I can move the 9 over here and multiply it by the 4 first. I can... I can reorder and regroup however I want whenever I'm multiplying. Now, that being said, the next thing to think about is the way we can break this problem down. Um, if we think about the way that division and multiplication work, sooner or later, right, when we work these things out, we could, if we wanted to, just divide the numbers here, divide the powers of k, and divide the powers of m. Let me, let me show you a quick example as to why that works. Let's say we have 25 times 3 times 4 over 2 times 5 times 3. Now just bear with me here. In this different example, if I use PEMDAS, I get 75 times 4, which is 300, over 10 times 3, and that's right, 2 times 5 is 10 times 3 is 30. If I reduce this, right, 300 over 30 is equal to 10. Okay, well, what I'm telling you here is that you can regroup and reorder however you like. In this process, we can do 25 over 5, right? So by regrouping however I like, I mean I can reorder the numerator terms and reorder the denominator terms and then say, okay, well, I'm going to do 25 over 5 first. I'm going to group those together. Then I, so I took care of those two, and then I have 3. Well, why not divide it by 3 first? That would be really nice, right? 3 over 3. And then we have 4 over 2. Now this is the same thing, but look how much easier this is, right? 25 over 5 is just 5, 3 over 3 is just 1, and 4 over 2 is just 2. And that's 5 times 2, which is 10. Now we do get the same answer, right, in both cases. But I think the, the, the second one, not only is it easier, but it helps us solve this algebraic expression here. Why can we do this? Well, if you think about what's happening, we have 25 times 3 times 4, divided by 2 times 5 times 3. Well, that could be thought of as what? Well, 25 times 3 times 4 could be thought of as being divided by 2 times 5 times 3, or multiplied by 1 over 2 times 5 times 3. And for me, that's really the key, because once you say, oh, well, division by these numbers is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, the basic idea behind this is that, let's say you have, I don't know, um, 10 divided by 2. Well, dividing by 2 is the same thing as 10 times 1 half, right? 1 over the denominator, same thing here. But once you're multiplying, that's when you have that freedom to commute the terms around and regroup them. So instead of thinking of this as division, you really think of it as, um, remember, you remember that it's multiplication, right, by the reciprocal. And in this case, that means you can reorder all of these terms. So when you see this here, you can just think 3 over 3 is 1, 4 over 2 is 2, and 25 over 5 is just 5. So 5 times 2 is 10. That's how you can think about it without writing it out. And that's what we have right here in this problem. Well, now, let's take a look at this. We have 27 over what? Well, 9 times 4 is 36. So we have 27 over 36 times what? Well, we have k to the 5th over k to the 3rd. That just means, um, right, we're multiplying 5 k's here, k times k times k times k times k, over 
3k is k times k times k. Well, every time you have a k over k, that cancels out for almost all the same reasons down here. We are reordering and regrouping. And notice there are two k's left over. And, and a shortcut here is to subtract these exponents, right? If the base is the same, you can just say, well, oh, it's k to the 5 minus 3, which is 2. But I'll write it like this for now. And then we have m to the 8 minus 6 for the same reasons, right? We are subtracting the exponents here, and the base is the same. So now we're almost done. We have 27 over 36. Well, they have a common factor. That's 9. So I, I, I divide both by 9. We get 3 fourths, right? So we have 3 over 4 times k to the second. We subtract those exponents time, times m to the sixth. And we're done. And what we've done, we know we simplified it, we know we've finished, because really there's nothing else to do, right? We applied our laws of exponents here and here, and we reduced to our fraction to lowest terms. There is no further to go. We've simplified it, and that's our answer. Thanks.